So, ladies, gentlemen, good morning. My name is Vladimir Schulz, and uh, I'm CEO of company MicroRisk. Those of you, because it's 240 people here, it's much more than four years ago. There were 24 people, so 10 times less. I'm very happy from that. And uh, when I was looking back, I wanted to make this presentation a little bit, a little bit different. Because last presentations, what we did, we introduced new products. We focused on uh, explaining technologies. We presented uh, our successes that we built up the whole and big ecosystem. And we, of course, presented our successes. So this presentation will be a little bit different. Because we are growing too fast and we should change something. So even my presentation will be changed because I would like to show you uh, the light and I will tell you what we are preparing for you for tomorrow. To start where we are, I will tell you first uh, where we are. So uh, in the same begin, it was at 2004, uh, our blue baby IQRF was born and it was in uh, Spanish Malaga where we introduced the first uh, IQRF transceivers. The whole time up to today, so certain yes, there were big micro-risk men standing behind and taking care about uh, that baby. And from that baby grew up a very huge ecosystem for IoT which is based on a robust mesh wireless technology. <clears throat> behind, uh, behind this uh, ecosystem, there were a lot of other products, like ecosystem from uh, IQ Home, lighting systems and parking systems, for example, in CITIC. All of these uh, real products and real systems you will see today. You can uh, see it in our workshops, you will see it in our presentations. So, where are we going to? We thought we should change something, because last year we got uh, offers from a uh, few investors who, want, who wanted to buy MicroRisk, and everybody was interested in IQRF. So we thought, okay, what we will do, we found IQRF Tech, it's a spin-off company of MicroRisk, 100% uh, owned at the moment, and we invited new partners. We invited new partners, strategic partners, to help us, to help to you, to help to you, to innovate the world, change it, and bring real IoT. We defined something what we named IQRF Core Infrastructure. So you will see those modules, you will see industrial gateway, commercial gateway, and also repeaters. So this is core infrastructure like it is today. We will add also IQRF IC to make it even more economically interesting. And we believe then in that in three years, the price of IQRF will go down between two and three US dollars. <clears throat> Why we are doing that? It's uh, very simple, time costs money. Today is more than yesterday and uh, tomorrow it will be much more than today. And those who will be late very long time, they will, be, they will be losers because our world is accelerating. So we should accelerate as well. We should uh, accelerate monetization. Uh, we should accelerate uh, money going back for you. And uh, to achieve that, we need to shorten time of the products to the market. To achieve that, we, would have, we should have uh, much more verticals. And, of course, we should shorten uh, R&D cycle. Uh, those products which were developed in the past few years, few months, will be developed in the future just in a few weeks, maybe in a few days, because the world is accelerating. So we should accelerate as well. What else we are doing? It's exactly what you see on the screen, uh, it's our mantra, simple, secure, interoperable. And what does it mean? The most important for us is security, because 
in uh, wireless networks, we are working in a shared environment. So all these systems are much, much more sensitive to attacks. And uh, you are hearing from newspapers every day, uh, it was attacked this, th that, British Railways uh, last week. So it's very difficult. And with shared environment like uh, wireless, is, it's much more sensitive. So we believe that security is a must, is something what we cannot omit. Second is interoperability. What does it mean? We knew that things should be interoperable even at 2008 when we defined DPA protocol. Protocol for those of you who are not engineers is ability of one thing to talk and other things to, end this, uh, to listen. But not necessarily it means they will understand to each other. So that's protocol. Like it is here, one is saying hello, second is saying konnichiwa, which is in reality completely the same, but they are not understanding to each other. Therefore we thought, okay, we should uh, move it to higher level. A higher level for us is this standardized numeric language to enable things to understand to each other. And of course, we cannot omit simplicity. Simplicity is important to accelerate the business, to accelerate development, shorten time to the market. So first of all, we put uh, complete security, all functionality we put to operating system. As a next step, we prepared small pieces of software, those hardware profiles, which are ready to use. So programmers don't need to develop software, tons of software, because it's big break. And uh, <clears throat> those hardware profiles are running on data control transceivers. And uh, so exactly those hardware profiles are processing those simple numeric commands to be able to accelerate the business. What next? What, what we prepared next? Uh, we were listening to you. And uh, a lot of you thought, well, Vladia, what about if you have asynchronous packets? And uh, of course, we listen to you, and uh, we are now preparing new concepts. Uh, on the screen, you will see topology like we have right now. It's mesh network of devices. Each of the device is able to root. There is gateway providing interface to upper systems. And finally, optionally, you can communicate to the cloud. And we told it's like, uh, exactly like it looks today. But what about if we change it? If we separate infrastructure and devices? The infrastructure will be, can look like that. So it will be mesh network from repeaters, standard wireless mesh network. But for devices, it will look exactly like that, just area covered by IQF signal. One of those approaches we named IQF Online Service. This is all the time online connected to the cloud. A second approach we named IQF Zone. It enables local autonomy and uh, potential control. So, <clears throat> the best for you to visualize what is it is to show you real examples. IQF online service will be used for sensoric networks mainly, uh, for visualization data from um, uh, mining dumps, uh, for tracking of uh, packs, parcels. You can use it in uh, waste management systems. And you will see also in my successors, which will present real examples you, uh, at smart schools from O2, you will see how data can change our life. Only just visualization, as Shimon showed you, can help you to see what is happening and uh, uh, improve our lives. IQF zone on the uh, other side is a little bit different. It can be used for applications like smart buildings or industrial automation. So, uh, 
IGRF Online will be used mainly for sensoric networks, for easy visualization of data, and uh, developers of end devices can very simply innovate their products and make new ones. When we are talking about uh, IQF zone, it can be used wherever you need local control or autonomy to control some devices, to add some uh, logical relationships between them. And because of course, I can talk uh, hours, maybe days, after setting yes about uh, IQRF, but uh, we are limited in time, so just short recapitulation. <clears throat> what we have prepared for you, it's new concept of IQRF Zone and IQRF Online. You will get very shortly information. Some detailed information you will get in my technical, pre technical presentation tomorrow. We will keep our mantra simply, simple, secure, interoperable. Because we believe that mantra will accelerate the world of IoT and also IQR. So what we achieve today is excellent horizontal platform. And we know that uh, we should accelerate also verticals. So we are preparing verticals. And most of you also know, or read it somewhere, that uh, IoT is a hype. Yes, it's hype, so it's some kind of wave. And I'm saying, OK, let's surf on IoT wave, because this is the only what we can do. So. I will end my presentation, my very short presentation, to show you the light. The light, what we would like to do. So we at IQRF Tech would like to deliver number one wireless mesh technology for IoT. And I know that we cannot do it without you. So thank you very much for participating in the conference, for helping us to make our dream real. Because 2004, when we started with that, everybody told us, hey, Vlada, you are a small company. You are not able to compete with Zigbee or big players. And as you can see, you are helping us to make our dream real. So thank you very much. <laughs>